Welcome back to another Minecraft Conquest Reforged video. I am the Kinder Knight, and in today's episode, I've prepared something very special for you guys today. And as you probably already know from the thumbnail and title, we will be building this Kingdom Come Deliverance inspired castle right here behind me. But this won't be my usual castle time lapse build, but I will be giving you guys a tutorial on how to build this castle. Now, I've been asked quite a bit to do something like this, but I've been putting it off. And so I thought it was about time I go ahead and come on here and give you guys a cool castle that you guys can build along with me and maybe even add it to your own personal worlds. Now, this castle is my design, but I did pull a lot of inspiration from my reference material. And now disclaimer, this tutorial is not 100% a step-by-step -step, mostly because the video is going to be a long one and I didn't really want to go and overdo it. But I did make sure that I edit it in a way that you guys should definitely be able to follow along and build this thing. But all in all, let's stop wasting time and let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial and get on with this video. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and check out some of the blocks that we'll be using in this build. And the first block that we'll be using is withered brown plank which will be used for the majority of our wooden features on our castle. And then our next would be a hume stone, hume stone with stone brick. And the third is hume stone tile. And now this uh, palette would be uh, generally used on most of the stony kind of uh, features of our castle. And then we come to our first gradient, which will be used on our keep. And as you see, we have plaster, our, our plaster stone. And then we have dolerite brick, followed by a small dolerite brick with clean white plaster and then white plaster at the top. And next we come to the second gradient. And as you see, it's very similar to the first, and this gradient will be used on our towers. And the only difference is that we're gonna swap out that white plaster at the top, and we're gonna switch, uh, swap it in with a gray, light gray stucco. And now for those of you out there who are wondering, all of these blocks are native to the Conquest uh, Reforged Mod and Resource Pack. So for any of you guys out there who are attempting to build this in vanilla, are in bedrock, don't feel too intimidated. Just use whatever block patterns and combinations that work for you and you'll be just fine. And next up we have is our brown and gray wood shingles. And this block will be used on all the roofs throughout the castle. And then next we have our, our hardened uh, clay. And this will be used on all of our, our walkways and ramparts of our castle and again guys if you guys want to have access to these blocks i highly recommend you guys uh download and check out the conquest reforge mod and resource pack it isn't too hard to download it's pretty simple and there's plenty of tutorials out there that will teach you how to do so so next we come to our next set of blocks and here we have a well support and this block will be used to just add some more details to any of the parts that uh, have a wood overhang um, in it. So it's a very important block. But again, if you don't have this block, don't sweat it. And next we have is an old wood beam. And again, another detail block that we'll be using to add a little bit more detail to our structures. And then if we move on to the next, we have a horizontal old wood beam, and we'll be using this block quite a bit, uh, quite a bit throughout the build, just to add and get those little details and little aspects of realism. And last on the list, we have our oak platform arrow slit, and this block will be used in our windows. And so that's our list. Um, we will be pulling other blocks, but I didn't want to just overwhelm you guys by just having a ton of blocks out there. Most of the blocks um, will just be uh, modded blocks. So if you're, again, playing on bedrock or vanilla, 
you know, don't sweat it, you still will be able to build this thing just minus some of the fine details that it'll have. So now let's take a look at the dimensions. Okay guys, now I tried to make this as simple as I could without complicating it too much. But at this point, I highly suggest you guys just go ahead and pause the video and really get this shape down. Now I provided some of the dimensions, the at least the most important parts. So just you guys, you know, you guys got this. Just do your best at getting this shape down. All right, you guys, so we got our blocks that we're gonna be using and we have our dimensions. So we're ready to start building this thing. So let's go ahead and start by grabbing our hewn stone. And we're gonna go down here to where the gatehouse will be. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up about 10 blocks, making it 11 because we already are up one block. So we're gonna go one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, guys, so go ahead and do this and build up 11 blocks all the way around this uh, gatehouse, this square structure right here. I'm going to go ahead and um, fast forward through it just so we can keep the video time from getting too crazy and out of control. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you guys go ahead and finish that, and I'll see you guys on the next part. Okay, we're back. And guys, now we have the makings of our gatehouse. And so next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on bringing up our curtain walls, or our inner walls. And so we wanna go ahead and grab our hemstone again, and we wanna come up a total of 11 blocks. And we wanna just go ahead and wrap this uh, wall all the way around. Um, we're gonna skip, obviously, the, the towers and the keep, but we're just gonna go ahead and bring up our curtain walls just like so. All right, and now that we have our curtain walls built up 11 blocks, we're gonna go ahead and move on to our towers and we're gonna build those up a bit. Okay, here we're gonna go ahead and grab our plaster stone and come up about 14 blocks, which will give us a total of 15 blocks high. And we're gonna do that all the way around for this tower. And then we're going to hop on the other one and do and repeat the same process. So it's going to be a total of 15 blocks high or tall. All right, guys, now that we built up our towers a bit, um, I think that the castle is really starting to take shape. Um, we're going to come back to our towers to finish building them up to their actual height. But for now, let's go ahead and move on to the keep. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and build up our keep and we're gonna go ahead and raise it about 14 blocks high. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and grab our white plaster, our, our clean white plaster, I should say, and we're just gonna come up 14 blocks. And we're just gonna do this around the whole uh, perimeter of the keep. All right, guys, it's really coming along. And hopefully by this point, you guys have something similar on your screen. Nothing has been too complicated yet, I hope, but we're going to go ahead and move on to the next part of our castle where we're going to now uh, bring up our outer walls. And so for this part, we're gonna go ahead and grab our hemstone and we're gonna come up about six blocks, putting us at seven blocks total in height. And as always, guys, we're gonna go ahead and build these walls all the way up until we come right back around to our gatehouse. All right, guys, but real quick. Now, I made a uh, error actually with that uh, upper wall right there that you see, the curtain wall. It's actually, I should actually done this in our uh, light gray stucco block, but um, somehow I, I, I messed it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that out, swap this all out. 
again guys if you guys are happy with the results of your castle thus far you guys can leave it alone me personally i want to go ahead and just change this out just because of the texture i like to make sure i have a nice variation of blocks so that's what i'm going to do guys all right guys now we have the look that we want um i apologize for that error you know it happens but um you know we just got to keep moving going with the flow so now guys we're gonna go ahead and grab our heart and clay and we're gonna go ahead and fill in and create our walkway for our soldiers on the wall so we're gonna go ahead and drop down three blocks from here and then we're just gonna go ahead and fill this all in and you know create that pathway for our soldiers to patrol around our castle and we're gonna uh fill this all in and we'll meet back out in the front of the gatehouse again okay guys now that we got that all done our ramparts all filled in i think it's looking real nice now and hopefully you guys are still with me thus far i know we still have a long ways to go and I will do my best to keep it moving. I'll try not to over explain or over complicate things, but let's go ahead and move on to the next part. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and create the next rampart or walkway up on the battlements right there near the first tower and the gatehouse. And basically we're gonna go ahead and replicate what we did with our first ramparts that we created. We're gonna go ahead and grab our heart and clay and we're gonna go ahead and come down three blocks and we're gonna go ahead and Fill in all this empty space. Now right here, we're not gonna go too crazy. We're just gonna go ahead and just place a few blocks like this. And we're gonna leave that space uh, in between the tower and the keep because we're gonna go ahead and come down here. We can add another row of those uh, of our hardened clay, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna bring up another wall like so. And we're just gonna go ahead and bring it up about one block over our walkway or the rampart area, just like so. Okay guys, I hope you all are still with me, but wow, look at that. I think it's really looking good and I'm very happy with that. But now we are going to jump back onto the gatehouse and really start to make this thing take shape. So we are going to go ahead and grab our hume stone block and we are going to build up the gatehouse just a little bit. So we're going to place three blocks going up. And as always, we're going to uh, do this around the whole top. Okay guys, at this point, your castle's gatehouse should stand about 14 blocks high. We've started with 11, and then we went ahead and added three more in the last phase. So now we're gonna go ahead and work on the next part of our gatehouse. And this is one of the most important parts. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our weathered brown plank, and we're just gonna come out a block like so. And then we're just gonna go ahead and wrap that around the whole perimeter of our gatehouse.
Okay, and next we wanna just go ahead and build up three blocks all the way around. All right, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go ahead and start putting a roof on our gatehouse. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna grab our brown and gray wood shingle, but we're gonna go ahead and grab the stair block uh, version of that um, texture. And we're just gonna go over to, our, to the top of this and we're just gonna lay it down like so. And we're gonna wrap all the way around the top of the gatehouse. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and add another uh, block there and then we're gonna pop another stair block and then we're gonna repeat the process again and we're just gonna go ahead and wrap this all the way around. All right, now from here, we're gonna go ahead and just grab our brown and gray wood shingle block and we're just gonna go ahead and pop our blocks um, we're not going to use the stair version. We're just going to use the regular block. And we're just going to go ahead and just wrap it all the way around like so. And from this point, you guys, we're going to just go ahead and be adding another two uh, levels of this uh, brown and gray wood shingle block. I would just like to note that if you guys have an easier way of doing this or you guys have a way that you guys like to do it, feel free to do it your way. Um, this is just the way I broke it down on here because this is, I feel it's as simple as way of doing roofs. So anyone that may be playing on Bedrock or Java Edition, you guys can still follow along and get this if you guys don't have access to all the other complicated blocks, but feel free to use whatever blocks you like. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our blocks and we're just gonna go ahead and just, you know, tailor these sides just a little bit like so, just adding some few extra blocks just so we get that nice trim that we see before us now. All right, guys, we're looking good. So we're gonna go ahead and continue on with our roof. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and add the kind of the overhang. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the stair block version of the brown and gray wood shingles that we've been using thus far. And we're just gonna go ahead and just pop them like that. And we're gonna wrap them all the way around with those stair blocks. All right, guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and finish off this bit of the roof by adding a little bit of detail. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my brown and gray wood shingle pillar, which is another block that's native to the Conquest Reforged mod and resource pack. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab a small pillar and just pop it on top, just like so. And this feature would be important for later on for you guys if you guys wanna add flags. All right, you guys, now that we have our roof on, it's really starting to take shape. It's really starting to look like a gatehouse. Now we're gonna go ahead and start working on adding some windows to this. So basically from here, I'm gonna come in about one block from the edge of the build, and then I'm gonna pop out uh, a space that's about uh, two blocks high, and then I'm just gonna repeat this. I'm gonna, wherever I place my window block, I'm gonna skip the next and place a window block and skip the next. So at the end, I should have about six window or six openings here, just like that. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my oak platform arrow slip block, and I'm just gonna go ahead and pop them in to those opening spaces, just like so. And basically I'm gonna go ahead and just repeat this process all the way around the uh, gatehouse. Now, if you guys are trying to attempt to build this in uh, vanilla or bedrock, and you guys don't have access to an arrow slit block, it's fine. You guys can just leave the window openings open, or you guys can substitute with a block that you prefer to use. All right guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and add another level of detail to this roof area. So I hope you guys are still with me. Um, so we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and grab our horizontal old wood beams and we're gonna go ahead and place those under our roof and those will act as uh, supports for our roof. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just pop one right over and basically we're gonna pop them wherever there isn't a window. We're gonna go ahead and put one of these uh, horizontal old wood beams. All 
all right spectacular so now guys what we're going to do next is now we're going to add some support under our, our kind of our overhang of our wood building so we're going to go ahead and grab our old wood beam and we're just going to go ahead and pop one right through on the end and then we're going to find the middle pop one there and then we're going to pop another one on the end and basically again we're going to rinse and repeat this process All right, guys, we're really moving through this part. So I hope you guys are still following me. So next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and grab our well support. And we're gonna go ahead and just pop those under our overhang, wherever there isn't a, a wooden beam support, we're gonna go ahead and add a well support like so. And we're just gonna go ahead and wrap these all the way around the whole bottom of our gatehouse. All right, you guys, so our gatehouse is now mostly done. So now it's time to move on to the next part. And so we're gonna go ahead and need to create an opening, an entryway into our castle's courtyard. Okay, guys, so just to let you guys know, there will be some minor changes made to this, but for the most part, what we wanna do first is we just wanna go ahead and just knock out a space for our opening. So we're gonna go about five uh, blocks wide, and then we're gonna go up about six blocks. All right guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and hop in here and we're gonna grab and stack up our hewn stone with stone brick on the inside, like so. And then we're gonna come in and then we're gonna go ahead and bring this uh, block all the way to the wall, like so, like you see here. And as you see, it gives us this really cool connected uh, texture. And guys, I know that we are really zipping through this, but just try and do your best to uh, follow me. All right, you guys, now that we have the entrance to our castle made, now we're gonna go ahead and add some details to this. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go ahead and grab a stone arch block, and we're gonna go ahead and just pop those in the corners, or in each corner of our entry. We're gonna pop one there, in there then we're gonna come back and grab a stone trap door and we're gonna go ahead and pop that right in the middle like that again guys these are modded blocks so if you're playing on bedrock or vanilla you probably won't have access to them so i would just recommend you guys just go ahead and using upside down stone stairs to kind of complete the look all right guys now this next part you may find teensy weensy bit confusing it was kind of hard to show you guys exactly what was going on on camera but basically what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and create a path that leads from the bottom of the gatehouse to up here on the battlements so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and knock out a doorway like so about three blocks high here guys we just want to remove one of our hardened clays and replace it with a stone stair and guys just basically uh do follow what i'm doing here you should have a total of five stairs that lead you from the ground all the way up to the battlement there and then we're going to come over here and we're just going to fill this all in we're going to just wall this all up with our uh hume stone and brick block and we're just going to fill this all in guys And now here I'm just going in and adding a roof to this structure. It sits about seven blocks high. And so keep in mind that your entryway sits up about six blocks. So that kind of gives you guys an idea of how the size proportions needs to be in here. And then we're just gonna come over here and we're just gonna go ahead and create another wall as you see. It's not too complicated, you guys. Just do what I'm doing right here. Just create a wall that kind of creates this kind of path of this tunnel. We're gonna knock out an in another entryway right here. I will tell you guys now that we will be altering this entryway as well because we made it uh, a, a, a block too short. So that's okay, we're gonna come back to it. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and just add some arch uh, stone arch blocks in here like so. 
So we're just going in and adding some more of these uh, stone arch blocks, just kind of filling this in. And then we're gonna go ahead and fix that little entryway area over there and top it. So this entryway will be identical in height to our main entryway. So guys, just keep that in mind. Just make sure they're both the same height and size so they all sit flush with each other. And that's pretty much it for this little section. Guys, again, I do apologize for all the zippiness, but I do have faith that you guys can pretty much figure this out. It isn't too hard. All right, guys, so we're back again at the front of our castle. And now it's time for us to go ahead and fix uh, this little um, part in the front of our gate. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just remove that, just simple like that. Then we're gonna hop up here on the battlements. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna add a doorway that will lead into our gatehouse up at the top from the battlement area. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and grab a stair block and we're gonna pop open a door just like that, real easy. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our door to it. And that's pretty much it for that, you guys. All right, guys, we're really moving along and hopefully you guys are able to follow me to this point and hopefully you guys got something that looks like this. So now we're gonna go ahead and do some work on our towers. So we're gonna come over to our towers and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start building them up a little bit so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my clean light gray stucco block and I'm gonna bring this whole structure up about 15 to 16 blocks high. So we're gonna go ahead and jump to the next tower and using the same block, we're gonna come up about 13 to 14 blocks high. So if you guys went up about 16 blocks on the first tower, you guys will be coming up about 15 blocks for this one. And just go ahead and just bring this whole structure up. You guys still with me? Okay, good. So now we're gonna go ahead and jump back on our first tower here. And now we're gonna go ahead and create the upper part of the structure and give it a roof. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do uh, repeat the same process as we did with our gatehouse, where we're gonna go ahead and grab our withered brown plank. And we're gonna go ahead and create the wooden part of our tower, much like our gatehouse here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pop a block. And then we're gonna bring our weathered brown plank all the way around the perimeter of the top of our uh, first tower here. And much like we did with our gatehouse, we're gonna go ahead and build this structure up about three blocks. All right, you guys, now that we got that done, it's time to go ahead and hop on and give this thing a roof. Now, for this part, you guys will need access to a half slab and trap door, um, preferably of the same texture as we've been using for the roof thus far. And so what you're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and grab our brown gray wood shingle, and we're gonna go ahead and put that block right there. And we're gonna place them all on each um, side of this uh, tower like so. And then we're gonna go ahead and place a full block and then come up a full block and then we're gonna place a half slab, just like that. Place a block, then place one full block up, then we're gonna add the half slab. So basically we're gonna be repeating this process all the way until they uh, meet at the top.
All right, and I hope you guys got something similar to this. And now we're gonna go ahead and fill this all in. And um, this part can get a little tricky. So guys, just do your best again to just follow along and just, you know, copy pretty much what I'm doing. Basically here, using our brown wood shingle, we wanna just go ahead and just snake this all the way and just connect all these uh, bottom parts all together. Just follow the pattern that's been laid out and you guys should do just fine on this part. Okay, next, connecting, we're gonna go ahead and place a block on the second block up right there and we're just gonna go ahead and snake it through, connect, just like so. And then we're gonna do that same thing again. We're gonna snake it over and then connect it and we're gonna do that again all the way around till we meet back at the at our starting point again, like so. And now we're gonna go ahead and snake again, snake like that. And now here, guys, I did go went ahead and uh, slowed it down because I really want you guys to be able to see what's going on here, but. You guys should have something that looks similar to this shape right here. And hopefully you guys have been able to keep up thus far. Um, but so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna grab our gray and our brown and gray wood shingle. And we're gonna go ahead and just place a whole block right there like that. And then we're gonna come up with one. Then we're gonna place one right there like so. And then we're gonna place another on both sides so we're gonna come up two for that and then we're gonna place and come up another block just like that then we're gonna come back and pop one right there in the center just like that you guys I hope that was understandable but basically we're gonna do the same uh, process around the whole uh, on the whole roof like you've just seen and again we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pop one block there then we're gonna come up another then we're gonna go over here right next to it and pop up a block and then pop up another and then we're gonna go behind this and then we're gonna go ahead and pop a block right there oh get rid of that we're gonna pop one back here and then come up two like so and then again we're gonna pop that last block right there in the middle and hopefully you guys get the picture and you guys can understand that All right, at this point, you guys should have something that looks similar to this. So now we're gonna go ahead and finish off the top part of our tower. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and grab a brown gray wood shingle block, and we're gonna go ahead and pop it right at the top of our tower right here. Like so. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab a uh, brown gray wood shingle uh, pillar and pop it there and then finish it off by, as you see, placing that small pillar on top of that. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and add our roofs uh, overhang. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and grab our brown gray wood shingle stair block, and we're just gonna go ahead and just place them all along here. And then we're gonna place one block in and then one block out like that. And basically we're gonna replicate this whole pattern all the way around until we meet back in the front. And now we have these corner parts where we can see some of our weathered brown planks. So we're just gonna go ahead and grab our shingle block and then we're gonna 
remove that and just pop in our roof block just like that on all of our corners that shows uh this uh wood block like that so we're just gonna go ahead and replace it just like that All right, guys, so now I think it's time for us to go ahead and add some windows. And just like we did with our gatehouse, we're gonna go over here and we're gonna pop out three openings, just like so. And then we're gonna grab our oak platform arrow slits and we're gonna go ahead and place those inside the openings, just like so. And we're gonna go ahead and repeat this process all the way around our tower. All right, now that we have our windows where we want them, we're gonna go ahead and move on and add some more detail to this tower. And we're pretty much gonna repeat the same process that we went through with our gatehouse. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our horizontal old wood beam. And we're just gonna go ahead and place a beam right there, there, and just make sure we're skipping the window when we're placing our beams. Then here we're gonna place one like so, and then we're gonna place the other one just like that. So we're just gonna go ahead and repeat this process all the way around. And now we're gonna grab our old wood beam and just like we did with our gatehouse, we're gonna go ahead and just place one of those old wood beams and pop them open, just like so. And we're gonna do this all the way around. We're gonna place one in like that and out like just like so. And then we're gonna place one there and there. And we're gonna do this all the way around until we uh, meet back at the front. And now to finish this all up, we're gonna go ahead and grab our well support. And just like we did with our gatehouse, we're gonna go ahead and pop those well supports in between our old wood beams. All right, hopefully you guys have something that looks similar to this. And now we're gonna go ahead and add our last bit of detail to our tower. So we're gonna grab our oak staircase and we're gonna place these over our windows. And again, you guys can place these on your windows however you like them or however you prefer them. But I'm gonna go ahead and just place one there, one there, and one there. Bam. And I'm just gonna do this all the way around wherever I have a window. And while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and add some of these oak staircases to my gatehouse. All right, guys. Now, this is looking phenomenal. I hope you guys are still with me here. Um, we still have quite a bit to go. So now we're going to go ahead and tackle our second tower. And now this one will be a little bit more simpler because we won't be building up the wooden kind of structure as we did with the first. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump to the roof. All right, guys, so what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna grab our brown and gray wood shingle block again. And we're gonna go ahead and repeat the same process as we did with our first tower. We're gonna go ahead and wrap this all the way around like so. And now for this part, just like we did with our first tower, we're gonna place one block in, then up. And we're gonna do that all the way around like so. Then we're gonna grab our half slabs and just place those half slabs right there on those blocks. Then we're gonna bring up another full block and then place a half slab and repeat and rinse, you guys. The same process as we did with our first towers, we're gonna be doing the exact same thing. Just like so. And from here, we're gonna go ahead and grab our brown and gray wood shingle block. And we're just gonna do that uh, sneaky kind of method, just like we did with our first tower. 
And from here, guys, you're just going to repeat the exact same process again as we did with our first tower. We're going to move kind of fast to get through this so we can have the video finish with a decent time. And once we finish that up, go ahead and grab your brown and gray wood shingle block, a stair block, and we're just going to bring those all the way around just like we did with our first tower. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab our wood shingle uh, block and just knock out those visible uh, stucco pieces and just go ahead and pop in the replacement with your uh, brown and gray wood shingle. And here I'm just going along and making some few minor adjustments to the roof. Um, you guys can leave yours alone if you're happy with the way it looks. If not, if you guys want to go ahead and just pause the video or slow it down to see exactly what I'm doing, you guys can go ahead and do that. All I'm basically doing is grabbing the half slab texture of my roof and just kind of popping them um, in places here and there, just trying to get a cleaner taper. To finish up, we're going to go ahead and grab our brown and gray wood shingle uh, trap doors and just pop them into place just like so. Then we're going to go ahead and grab our brown and gray wood shingle pillar and just place it and grab our small pillar and just place it just like so. All right. And again, guys, I apologize for how fast we're moving, but I really just want to get this video done and not waste too much of your guys' time. So we're going to go ahead and grab our horizontal old wood beams. We're just going to do exactly what we did on our first tower and just Go ahead and place those beams like so all the way around our tower, leaving a space in between each placement. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and add some windows to our tower. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down about five to six spaces, and then we're going to punch out about a three uh, height long um, opening and just put an arch block in it just like so. And we're going to do this on each side of our tower. just like that and also guys if you guys don't have access to the arch blocks it's fine just leave your windows as they are but if you prefer to just go ahead and substitute it with another block that works for you all right now just take a look at that it's really looking really nice it really feels like a kingdom come deliverance type of castle i hope i haven't lost you guys yet i'm doing my best to try to make sure i explain things in a way you guys can understand it so now we're going to go ahead and hop on our wall and we're going to add some crenellations to this. So we're going to go ahead and just knock out a space first, just like so. And we're going to go ahead and just skip one and then go ahead and pop another one like that. And we're going to go ahead and just repeat this process. We're going to crenellate this whole wall all the way around until we come back and meet back at the front of our gatehouse. just like so. And here, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Humestone tile trap door, and I'm just gonna go ahead and place one on top of the Merlin and one in between. And we're gonna go ahead and just do that all the way around. If you guys don't have access to this particular block, I recommend you guys just go ahead and using maybe a uh, stone block or a cobblestone version of the trap door. All right, you guys. This is looking great. And now it's time to move on to our next part. So now we're gonna go ahead and crenellate that uh, curtain wall up there. And we're gonna just repeat the same process as we did with our lower wall. We're just gonna go ahead and just knock out some spaces like so. And we're just gonna do that all the way around on all the upper walls.
I think this looks good. And I hope you guys are still with me because it's going to start getting a little bit complicated. But I promise to do my best to try to explain things to you guys in a way you guys can understand without kind of over explaining it and over complicating what's going on. So we're going to go ahead and grab our brown and gray wood shingle stair blocks. And we're going to come up three just like so. And we have to break away some of that if we need to. And then we're just going to bring this all the way down to this point right here. And then we're going to bring that next uh, level up over and then bring the third level over just like so. And over here, we're going to do the same thing. The only difference is it's going to be set in one block. We're going to come two just like so. And then we're going to come back here and we're going to place a block like that and then place a stair block, then place a block, then a stair block like so. Then we're going to get rid of these ones we don't need. And then we're going to go ahead and place our stair block on the side of that. And just like so, and then we're going to move on to the next and we'll do the same thing that we just did. Place two, just like so. Place that there, stair block there and stair block, stair block, and then get rid of these pieces that we don't need anymore. And again, we're going to go ahead and place two stair blocks down just like so and place that there, stair block, place that there and stair block in place like that. And again, we're going to go ahead and get rid of these pieces that we don't need. And we're going to go ahead and skip that one right there. And we're just going to do the same process and come up three stair blocks like that. Get rid of those ones we don't need. And then we're going to come over two. And then we're just going to start connecting these together just like this. And we're just going to leave that opening there. And then we're going to go ahead and hop back right here and place two right there like that. And then we're going to come up our three again. So one, two and three, just like that. Get rid of those ones we don't need. And then we're just going to bring this all the way over until we reach our tower. Then we're gonna place one there and then up. And then we're gonna go ahead and just connect all these together like so. And I hope you guys are still with me. I hope this is understandable and I'm not confusing you guys too much. All right. And hopefully you guys have something that looks like this. So now we're going to go ahead and take care of these holes and these little openings that you can see through the roof. So we're just going to go ahead and grab our, our stair block. Or you can just use your regular uh, block that you've been using for your roof. And we're just going to go in there and just fill them in. Just pop your upside down stair in there. Or just pop your block, whatever you're using, in there. Just like so. Just to get rid of those little openings. Just like that. And then we're going to come right here in this little space and just pop a half slab just like that and that will complete this part of our roof all right guys we are really moving and it's looking great and i hope you guys are still with me because now it's time for us to move on to the next part of our castle and it does get a bit tricky so we're going to go ahead and add a walkway for our guards to be able to patrol and have somewhere to stand so we're going to come down about three spaces we're going to grab our weathered brown plank as you see here it's the block we've been using for again all of our kind of our wooden uh, structures or wooden features, let's just say. And we're just going to go ahead and we're going to just bring this all the way out. And we're just going to make sure that we do this all the way until we connect to our tower on the other side here, just like so. So we're just going to make sure that we're uh, keeping a three block distance from our wall as we kind of snake this all the way over to our tower. And bam, just like so. And hopefully you guys have something that looks like this. And so now we're gonna go ahead and finish up our roof here. So we're gonna grab our brown and gray wood shingle block, our stair block version of that. And we're just gonna come down two, just like so. One and two. And then we're gonna just bring these stairs all the way over to this point, just like so. And then we're gonna place two stair blocks there. Then we're gonna come down just like so, place stair there, place our stair, come down, place our stair, place our stair. Then we're gonna go ahead and place a full block in this little space, just like that. And then a stair block, like so, to complete that area. And then we're gonna go ahead and place our two stair blocks right there. And then as you guys see, we're gonna just bring this all the way over, 
to our tower, then place a stair block there. And then we're gonna bring this all the way back over. And guys, I know the pace can get a little bit confusing, but just do your best to copy what I'm doing right here to the best of your abilities. And so now we're gonna go ahead and take care of these little openings that we have with our brown and gray wood shingle blocks. And we're just gonna go ahead and just pop those into place just to get rid of those openings like so. All right, guys, now from here, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my weathered brown plank trap door, and I'm gonna go ahead and start laying those on top of our withered brown plank blocks that we have set here. And if you're playing on the Conquest Reforge mod and resource pack, then you'll have this block obviously, but if you're playing on bedrock and vanilla, then you probably won't have access to this. So I recommend you guys just go ahead and just skip these next couple of steps and just leave it the way it is. And again, I'm just using my weathered brown uh, trap doors and I'm gonna make sure that I bring these all the way over until I reach my tower. All right, now that we have our weathered brown uh, trap doors down, we can go ahead and get rid of these uh, weathered brown planks. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is, we're gonna make sure that we knock out two blocks here, but we're gonna make sure that we leave one there behind. And we're just gonna go ahead and knock out two blocks all the way until we reach the tower. Just like that, guys, we want to make sure that we leave one block there because we're going to need it for our next step. All right. And for our next step now, we're going to go ahead and grab our horizontal old wood beams and we're going to go ahead and just place two of them like so and then skip a space and place two of them like so. So, guys, we're going to basically add these kind of these supports all the way around until we reach our tower. Just like that, guys. All right, you guys. So now we're gonna go ahead and add some supports to our hoardings. But first, we gotta go ahead and get rid of that block that we left behind. So we're gonna go ahead and just knock these all out now. And once that's all cleared out, we're gonna go ahead and grab our old wood beam and we're just gonna place one right there and then go ahead and place another one under it, but we're not gonna open that one, just leave it as it is. And as you see, it kind of gives us the effect that now our hoardings have a support system going because in these type of builds, it's very important to make things look practical, to make it have uh, a sense of realism to them. So yeah, just go ahead and just place your old wood beams all the way till we reach back to the tower here. All right, you guys, I think this looks super good, but we're not quite done yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add a railing system to the structure using fence blocks. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna go ahead and grab my rusted fence and we're just gonna go ahead and place them right so. This is the easy part, guys. We're gonna go ahead and just bring all of our fence blocks 
all the way around our trapdoor floors. Just like that guys, super simple, super easy. And now still using our rustic fence uh, block, we're gonna go ahead and create some supports. We're gonna come up with two blocks like that. So we're gonna come over three blocks and we're gonna place one fence block and two fence blocks and to get this type of effect. And basically we're gonna just go ahead and repeat this for every three block spaces. We're gonna go ahead and add a fence block. We're gonna add two fence blocks like so, one and two, just like that guys all the way until you reach the tower. And bam, just like that. All right, you guys. So now we're gonna go ahead and repeat the same process over here. Only difference is I'm not gonna go through it and explain everything because if you guys made it this far, then you guys should be able to figure it out this part. Just pretty much replicate what we did on the other side right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead for the sake of time and just zoom through this and just kind of get this done real quick. All right, you guys, check that out. It's really looking good. I'm really happy with the progression of this. And I hope you guys are too. I hope you guys are still with me. So we're almost done, guys. So now it's time to focus on building up our keep over there. And so let's go ahead and get on with that. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our clean white plaster block. And we're just gonna come up a block and just wrap that all the way around the top part of our keep like so. And we're gonna go ahead and grab our weathered brown plank and we're gonna come out one, and then we're gonna wrap this all the way around the perimeter of the top part of our keep here. Just like we've done so far with our gatehouse and our first tower. All right, you guys, now from here, we're gonna go ahead and build up this structure about three blocks high. And just how we done so far with our other uh, structures like this, we're just gonna go ahead and wrap this all the way around, just build up this whole structure about three blocks high. Okay guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and grab our brown and gray wood shingles stair block, and we're gonna go ahead and wrap those all the way around the top part of our keep here. Just like so, so we're gonna go ahead and just place them all the way. Just like that guys, and again, I apologize for the pace. I'm really trying to get this video done and not have it run too long. 
And basically guys, from here, we were just gonna repeat this same process about two more times. So go ahead and just take care of that. And now from here, we're just gonna go ahead and grab our wood shingle uh, block. We're not gonna use any stair blocks right now for this part. We're just gonna go ahead and wrap that block all the way around like so. And now we're gonna go ahead and grab our stair block again. And then we're just gonna go ahead and place one right there and right there and like right there, just like so. And then we're gonna go ahead and come up one, two, one and two with our stair blocks. And then three, then four, one, two, three, and four. And then fill that all in. And then we're gonna place a backwards stair block right here, just like that. So we have this look, you guys. So then we're just gonna go ahead and just drag these all the way over and just connect them to the other side. And again, guys, it's real simple. Just copy what you see me doing on screen. Um, by now, you guys should have a solid idea of how this works anyways. So just go ahead and just copy what I'm doing. Just like that, guys. And hopefully you guys didn't have any issues with that. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next part of the castle. All right, guys, and from here, we're gonna go ahead and do exactly what we did with our gatehouse and our other two towers. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our brown and gray wood shingle pillar, and we're gonna go ahead and add those little um, details right here on our roof. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that first pillar block and we're gonna go ahead and put one right there. And then we're gonna to top it off with the smaller pillar. And we're gonna to come to this side and repeat the process just like so. And now we're gonna go ahead and grab our brown and gray wood shingle uh, stair block. And we're just gonna go ahead and add the roof overhang, just like you see here, all the way around. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and add a couple of simple chimneys. Now, you guys can go about this on your own. You guys can do them however you guys want them or place them wherever you guys want it to be. Or you guys can just go ahead and just copy me here. But I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my light gray stucco block and I'm just gonna come up about three. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab the pillar version and just place it just like that. And you see me adding the smoke to it as well. So then I'm gonna come over here again. I'm gonna find the center of my roof and just go ahead and just place another three uh, light gray stucco blocks. And then we're gonna to top it off with that uh, stucco pillar that you see right there. And that's pretty much it for that guy. Super simple, really easy design. No need to spend more time on it than necessary. All right, you guys, now we're gonna go ahead and add some windows to this. And just like we've done previously with our gatehouse and our tower, we're gonna go ahead and uh, set our first window about one block in, and then we're gonna punch out two blocks to create our window opening. And we're gonna do that on both sides. Keep in mind, guys, wherever you put your next window, just leave a, a space in between. So when we go in to add our horizontal wood beams, they will sit all against a wood uh, background and versus over the window. Hopefully I didn't just confuse you guys by saying that, but just copy what I have here on the screen and you guys should be okay. So just go ahead and pop in those old platform arrow slits if you have access to them and just go ahead and repeat this process all the way around wherever you guys want your windows to go.
All right, guys, now we're gonna go ahead and grab our oak staircase, and we're just gonna go ahead and place them over the top uh, portion of our windows here, and we're gonna do that all the way around. Just like so. Just like so. And also, guys, you can choose where which windows will have these. I didn't put them on all my windows, so you know, you guys put them where you guys uh, feel they look best. All right, guys, now we're going to go ahead and grab our horizontal old wood beam, and we're just going to go ahead and place them all around our roof, just like this. And then we're going to go ahead and grab our old wood beam, and we're going to place one right there at the end, find the middle of our keep, place one there, and place one there at the end, just like we did with our gatehouse. And we're going to go ahead and repeat this process all the way around. So we just gotta make sure we find the middle, place it there, then we're gonna place one there, and then we're gonna place an old wood beam there in the middle, and then place another one there. And then by now you guys get the idea. And to finish this all up, we're gonna go ahead and grab our well support uh, block, and we're just gonna go ahead and place them all in between the old wood beams all the way around. All right, guys, so now for this next part, if you guys don't have the modded stair block, you guys can just use whatever stair block you do have. But this part does get a little tricky, so we're gonna try and knock this out and try to get it done. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna grab my oak plank stairs, and I'm gonna place one right there. Then I'm gonna grab any block, it really doesn't matter, and I'm gonna come out about three spaces, just like so. Then I'm gonna grab my oak plank stairs, and come down about three spaces and then come three blocks out again. And then we're gonna come down another three stair uh, blocks. And come out with another two blocks and we're gonna come down with another two stairs, just like so. Guys, I apologize for the zippiness, but I really wanna get this video going. It's already running kind of long as it is. All right, guys, if you're still with me, you should have something that looks similar to this. So now we're gonna go ahead and add some doors to our castle. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and find the center. And when we do so, we're gonna go ahead and punch out some openings that are gonna be about three blocks high. And we're gonna do that right there. And we're gonna do it there. Okay, for this next part, we're gonna add the roofing over our stairs. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our oak staircase. And guys, the best advice I can give you for this part is just follow what I'm doing here because kind of explaining it can kind of get kind of confusing. But basically, we're gonna go ahead and make uh, add about four of them just like that and have them come down to just like you see there. Then we're gonna grab it and then we're gonna come down one like that and then come out and add another one just like that. Then we're gonna add another one right there. Come down another block space and place another two oak staircases like so. And again, add another oak staircase, another two. like that and then add another one another set just about there and here we're gonna go ahead and place some old wood beams and we're just gonna kind of stack them up upon each other and to do this you got to kind of bend down um, you got to be in your crotch position I should say and another thing that'll help is by building up some of these blocks like so so you can just line them up with them just like that and then you can remove them when you're done with them but we're gonna do that on both sides. We're just gonna stack up our old wood beams, just like so. And for here, we're gonna come up about another uh, two blocks, just like so. And then we're gonna place those old wood beams on them, 
on both sides, just like so. And now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my oak staircase and kind of create an arch by placing one oak uh, uh, staircase on this side and one oak staircase on the other, just like so. And then we're gonna go ahead and just add some more oak staircases to the back, just like so. Just filling it in just a bit. And here we're gonna go ahead and remove one of these old wood beams and we're gonna replace it with an oak staircase. And we're gonna come around here and do the same thing. Just like so. And remove all that. And hopefully you guys are left with something that looks similar to this. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and uh, try to fill in some of these open spaces that we have and just try to make this look a little bit more cohesive and so we're just gonna go ahead and grab our oak staircase and just go ahead and add another row of blocks to each uh, portion here, just like so. That way we get rid of those little gaps. Just like so. And now after toggling open our old wood beams, we're gonna go ahead and grab our horizontal old wood beam and just go ahead and just place them right in the, pop them right into place, just like that. And then what you can do is now is grab your old wood beam and just place one there and place one there to kind of complete the look. And now we're gonna hop back on our doors. We're gonna go ahead and grab a clean white plaster arch and just pop those into place, just like that, bam. So then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my reinforced wooden gate and just pop those right into place, just like so. All right, guys, and hopefully you guys are still with me. Hopefully um, uh, it gets a little bit easier from here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and grab our weathered brown plank, uh, trap door, I should say, and we're gonna go ahead and place those on top of our weathered brown plank blocks that we have right here. So go ahead and just place those like so. And bam. And now we wanna come over here and just remove those withered brown planks since we don't need them anymore, since we have our trap doors in place. So just go ahead and remove those. And now we're gonna go ahead and add our old wood beams. Oh, I'm sorry, our horizontal uh, old wood beams. And we're just gonna place those just like so. And bam, just like that. And now from here, guys, this step is a little bit more trickier than it is complicated, but we're gonna be using a spruce railings to uh, complete this part. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and grab our spruce railing. So the easiest way to go about this is to go ahead and place any block right there and just pop in your uh, spruce railing, just like so. And then you wanna grab your straight spruce railings for this part. And then you wanna just go ahead and just pop those straight spruce railings in right there. Just snap them into place. Then go ahead and grab your block, any blocks that you wanna use. And then you grab your spruce railing again. And you just wanna go ahead and just pop those into place just like so. And then you're gonna repeat again and grab your straight spruce railings after you go ahead and get rid of those. And just go ahead and put your straight uh, spruce railings right here, just like that. And then go ahead and add another, some more blocks. And then go ahead and grab your spruce railing again. And go ahead and just pop those into place just like that. This is just more trickier, like I said, than it is difficult. So go ahead and just get rid of these blocks since we don't need these anymore. So 
So then we're gonna go ahead and add some spruce railings right here. So we're gonna do the same process. We're gonna go ahead and just add those blocks so we can have something to snap it to and just put one there, come on the other side and then pop another spruce railing right into place right here, just like that. Get rid of that because we don't need it anymore. Then we're gonna come right here and grab our straight spruce railing and just pop it into place just like that. So now we're gonna come over here and we're gonna go ahead and pop another spruce railing just like that. And again, this is where it gets a little tricky, a little funny. So we're just gonna have to, you guys just do your best to just snap it into place. Um, you may have to play with it a little bit because it is kind of buggy. Yeah, so the best thing to do would be just to go ahead and add a block right there just so you have something to snap it to and just place that spruce railing right into place just like so. And then you can get rid of that. And then you can go ahead and add that old wood um, beam back into place just like that. And then we're gonna do the same process over here too. We're gonna go ahead and um, let's go ahead and just knock that out and just place that block right here just like so. And then go ahead and snap in our spruce railing. And there you guys have it. Go ahead and get rid of that. And we're gonna go ahead and put that back just like that guys all right you guys we're almost done i hope you guys are still with me the hardest part is over everything from here on out will be cake um so we're gonna go ahead and grab our old wood beam and we're just gonna use this to add some supports to our roof and we're just gonna add about a couple of them and so we're just gonna go ahead and just pop one of those old wood beams right there. And we may need to go ahead and make like some scaffolding so we can stand on that because we will need to be able to crotch to finish it just like that. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and add some more blocks down here to give us something to crotch on when we add our last uh, roof support. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. And then when we get here, we're gonna crotch and just place that old wood beam and we'll come down three just like that pop it open and there you have it get rid of those that we don't need all right guys all that's left is to add some windows to the front of this thing so i'm gonna go ahead and use my wooden window panel and we're gonna go ahead and just uh, knock out some some holes so we can add our windows so we're gonna go over here and we're gonna knock out a couple of blocks for our window and then we're gonna go ahead and pop in our window panes, and then also add some straight wood railings to the window to add an extra bit of detail. So we're gonna go ahead and do that again. And again, guys, you guys can put your windows wherever you guys want them, but just keep in mind that wherever you guys put your windows, make sure that they don't clash with uh, your ceiling's height when you, if you guys decide to do any in interiors. So we're gonna go ahead and pop out another two spaces, a two, I'm sorry, two blocks so we can add in our windows. Also adding on those straight wood railings. Now we're gonna come over here and we're gonna go ahead and create another doorway. So we're gonna go ahead and just knock out a few blocks right here, add our arch, grab our reinforced wooden gate and pop it right into place. Now we're gonna go ahead and add another window right here, just like so, add those straight wooden railings and that's about it for this part, guys. All right, guys, and now we're gonna go back, head back up at the top, and we're gonna go ahead and make another doorway so we have a way to get out on these hoardings from the castle. So we're gonna go ahead and just knock out those holes. I mean, sorry, knock out an entryway and just add our arch and throw on our door right there. And then we're gonna come right here. And I apologize for moving so fast, guys, but again, I'm trying to move this video along and just go ahead and add some windows and pop on those straight wood railings. And then come along on the side just try to find the center and then just pop in your windows like so again guys you guys can put your windows wherever you guys want them to go so it's really no uh no need for a tutorial for this part just put your windows where you feel you like to see them and that'd be pretty much it you guys mm -hmm. 
All right, guys, we're almost at the finish line now. We're uh, moving along. So we're going to go ahead and add this buttress right here. So what you want to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab my light uh, gray um, stucco block. And I'm just going to come up about three places just like that. And I'm going to do it on both sides just like so. It doesn't really matter um, whatever colors you guys use. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and grab some white plaster and just come up another uh, height, another block height just like so. Then we're going to go ahead and grab our half slab again doesn't matter what color you use just go ahead and pop those into place just like so and then finish it off by adding uh, a trap door just like that you guys all right you guys we're really finishing this up so let's go ahead and get into it um, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go ahead and add a buttress to the front of this gatehouse right here So what you're gonna want to do is go ahead and grab your hemstone and come up about six blocks And then we're gonna go ahead and add another one Another row right here and now we're gonna go ahead and grab our hemstone half slab And we're just gonna go ahead and place it right there And then we're gonna go ahead and grab the trap door and place those two right there at the top just like that. So then we're gonna come back down at the bottom and then we're gonna go ahead and add a couple of hewnstone uh, half slabs on top of each other. And then we're gonna to top those off with a couple of, of trap doors. Just like so, you guys. So now jumping over to the other side, we're gonna do the same thing, come up about six blocks And then we're gonna go ahead and add our half slabs at the top here, just like so. Then top those off with trap doors. And then come here at the bottom and add a couple of hemstone half slabs, finishing it off with a couple of trap doors. And that's it, you guys. That's the castle. Whew, that was a crazy long build. Um, you guys, I'm gonna leave the extra detailing, any changes you guys might wanna make to you guys. And I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of the detailing and texturing of the walls off camera. Again, I have a video of how I go about texturing my castle walls. So if you guys want to know or need a tutorial on that, go ahead and check that video out. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stick around for the reveal where I'll do a camera pan around the complete finished build. All right, guys, so that was the build. I hope you guys were able to follow along. I really put a lot of work into this because I really wanted to give you guys a cool castle that isn't too tough that you could build. And so I hope you guys made it to the end and maybe even made the build your own. I plan to do more of these kind of tutorials for you guys and hopefully they get better with time. And so I would appreciate it if you guys let me know how you feel about this tutorial and maybe even suggest a couple of ways I could improve um, these videos to make these type of tutorials a little better for you guys. But as always, if you enjoy this type of content and you would like to see more, please consider subscribing to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to turn on that red notification button so you don't miss any future Minecraft Conquest Reforged videos. Also, Drop a comment below. Again, let me know what you guys thought about this video. This is The Kinder Knight, and I am very, very, very tired from all this building. And I bid you a farewell.